Okay. What up guys? So back to quick shift. Yeah, um lockdown, eh? Talk of the town, topic of the month or months. Um luckily place where I work is a level four, so I actually get to go back to work. Uh, fun fact, if you didn't know this, sorry while well, I just set everything up. If you didn't know this, then um, yeah, Zach's been acting up. And he's been acting up in terms of the clutch sensor to start the car, where you have to push your clutch in in order to start the car, otherwise it won't start. Yeah, that little sensor, that little pin of mine broke off. So, sometimes the car starts and sometimes the car does not start. So I managed to drive the car back home after like a month and a bit. Um, yeah, it took me about three hours to actually start my car at the office. And that's a story and a half. So excuse me while I sit here for a long time. Ah! Good boy. Okay. That was <laughs> Okay, that's good, that's good. We can go to work. Okay. Uh, as you're familiar with, uh, you've got to... you got to stay clean and you got to, you know, be responsible. i got no idea how this... Uh, No idea how uh, this is all gonna sound, but we shall see. So I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit of an interesting story on my way to work today. Oh yeah, this is also gonna be like, uh, how is it to daily your car if it's a race car? Yeah, so so far it's it's really good because it started, so that's good. Generally. It's really not that bad, depending on your neighborhood, depending on the roads you take to work. Um, driving a race car or your project car to work and back is actually not, not bad at all. But when you live in an estate and the estates are really strict with speeding and then they put really massive speed bumps everywhere, then it gets a little annoying. Unfortunately, the way the camera is set up, you aren't going to be able to see the speed bumps, but uh, no scratches today. That's good. Yeah, the, the bumps are, are pretty big over here. So every every bump you have to take it sideways. You have to take it slowly. You have to take it at a certain mathematical degree in order not to scrape. And then obviously you get people behind you that get upset and mad at you because you're taking so long to get over a speed bump and you're crossing over into the other lane yeah it's not it's not really practical but when it's nice and straight like this then it's good so i'm gonna try not to talk too much um if anything interesting happens or if i remember my story that i was gonna tell you then yeah so, you know, there's someone behind me okay in the meantime to some music. Yeah, this is daily race car life. Hello. Good thing to sound, already. Thank you very much, man. Appreciate it. fingerprint to access into the actual estate. You have to use a fingerprint and then the gate opens. Uh, obviously the problem is that everyone touches that thing so they spray you with this really sticky, really annoying um, hand sanitizer which I don't like very much. But you gotta do what you gotta do. Alright I'm gonna try to close the window so you guys can hear. to sixth and just cruise so we can actually hear each other well you can hear me so 
story about my car that I had to break into. Um, I had to break into my own car yesterday because before the lockdown, because of the whole clutch sensor issue, I decided I'm not going to use the car because it's not reliable. I'm not sure if it's going to start if I go go to the shops to go buy something to eat uh, or, or groceries or whatever. So I decided I'm going to leave my car at the office. Now, you know, I disconnect the battery and I, you know, make sure everything's out of the car, close the bonnet, I lock the door, it's not a problem because although that the key isn't going to, um, central lock is not going to work, I know that I can put the key in the door and it'll, it'll open, or at least that's what I thought. So, uh, I've got to go through another checkpoint over here. One moment. That did not work, obviously, because as what I think, either my locks on the doors, both doors aren't working, or that the door mechanism actually needs some sort of power in order to unlock the doors, even though if it's with your your remote, um, your key manually. So yeah, try to access the bonnet latch from underneath the car. That didn't work. It's got all sorts of protective um, things on it, so you can't you know, pop your hood from underneath the car. Uh, you can't put a wire in through the window to your door handle to unlock your car that way. So, three hours go past. The only way to hook it is a little focus on that little edge. You can see there's a little edge, and you can even see there's a mark where the the wire as you hooked it. And then by some don't know how or who did that for me up, up there, but that little wire hooked on that ledge, and I pulled that little the little uh, switch and it unlocked the door. So if you ever want to know how to break into a 350Z. Uh, let you know. <laughs> so that, that was interesting. And uh, yeah, I think I'm going to start doing little videos like this where I'm going to see the, the pros and the cons of dailying a, a race car. And the con back there, as, as you, you heard or did not hear, is that it's very loud. It's very, very loud. Especially if you stripped out half the back and everything, then it's, it is very loud. The sound quality isn't that great in my car. I know some people with their project cars they have the whole caged look as well as nice sound, which I unfortunately Yeah, otherwise the fuel economy isn't that bad, especially for me. They're comfortable for like a short trip, i.e. like to work and back. Then they actually come because they, they, they hug you quite nicely. But 
taking the car down to the coast and it's a seven and a half hour hour drive then yeah these seats aren't aren't the best um i do miss the oem seats Permit isn't valid yet. Permit's only going to be valid as of Thursday, hopefully. So, yeah, it's been fun. I'm glad that I got Zach back to the house, even though he may or may not start. Ah, uh, oh, that hurts. That is not fun. Um, but yeah, so basically we have like another two days of not doing anything. Um, but I'm thinking in those two days, I am going to detail my car and I'm gonna record it. And I know that you are gonna be bored enough to watch it and like, and like it, definitely have to like it. And then you're gonna subscribe if you haven't done that. <laughs> 